automation is a tool for abundance. It ends scarcities. And that, that's a certainty. In many ways, that's good, because when you end certainties, you can, uh, yeah, scarcities, you can also invent something else, uh, it, because it also lowers the prices and margins. And that's not always a good thing. I mean, clearly in the music business, you, you wouldn't be so happy about the margin of a song having declined from the CD to the stream. Right? So this is the important point. To generate new values, you will need to focus on things that cannot be made abundant. This is the key point. Right? When you automate, things get cheaper. That's great for you, great for the customer. Right? And then what do you do? You invent new things that are only possible because of the automation. And those are the ones you're going to make money on. That's a key point. It's not automation itself that will make you lots of money in the future. That's just a tool to get to this point where you can think of other things that are not automatable. Unlike algorithms, the humor rhythms, for example, cannot be automated. Anything that's human about your company, purpose, design, brand, right, becomes much more powerful, cannot be automated. Some people have said happiness can't be automated. Right? And ultimately, the purpose of business is customer happiness. Right? So there has to be something in place there that makes it possible for you to go beyond abundance. Because in five years, maybe eight or ten, depending on what business you're in, we will reach what I call total efficiency. That basically means that every, all, the, all the stuff is taken out that makes it inefficient. And until then, you can make lots of money with efficiency. But then you have to think about purpose and human values and other key business assets. <coughs> 